Hey guys, it's Amy Astro here, and a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do you get your signature on all of your photos? Well, I could tell you that I cheat and I bought one off of photologo.com, or I can show you how I used to do it. You need a sheet of paper, a Sharpie, a photocopier scanner type combo, whether it's one of those big ones that scan to your email as a PDF or one of those desktop units like an Epson that you can scan. And you need to have Photoshop or a photo editing type program, okay? If you have those items, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get your logo on your photo. Alright folks, so the first step in getting your logo on your images is you have to create your logo or your signature. And what I'm going to do is take a blank piece of white photocopy paper and I'm going to write my signature on it. Just nice and easy with a sharpie. Now you want it to be a fairly thick line so you can grab it in the computer. So an ink pen is really not suggested for this process. Use a Sharpie, whether it's the thick, you know, this medium sized one or a real thick one. But just as simple, write your logo on your piece of paper. And then come over here to your scanner and put the logo on your scanner. And you can use your photocopier like, you know, somewhere out there that can scan to a PDF or just a regular, this is an Epson workhouse. And, all right, so I'm over here on the computer. I've got the Epson scan up and loaded. And all I need to do here is I've got my image format. I have choices of JPEG, PNG, TIFF. I'm just gonna stick with the basic JPEG, but this completely works if you have just a, um, a PDF file. And let's preview our image. All right, now I've got my image on my screen. That looks good. Let's just go ahead and scan it. And then we're gonna save the file. All right, we can see that the image is now scanned over here to my directory. And if you wanna know how to change the directory, it's down here under folders, um, and I just chose it in there. But this is just for the Epson software. I mean, really, you can do this on a photocopier somewhere. Anything that will scan it as a JPEG or a PDF and can email it to you. All right, so now that I've got my image and I know where it's at, I'm gonna minimize this guy and let's open up Photoshop. Now I'm sure there's other photo editing softwares that can do this, I'm just familiar with Photoshop, so I'm gonna show you this way and you can see if you can replicate it in the program that you currently use. All right, now that we've got our Photoshop open and we've got our Windows Explorer and we show our image. I'm just going to click it, drag it, and drop it over into Photoshop. I'm going to unlock the layer and say OK. And let's go ahead and rotate this so we can use it easily. Go under Edit, Transform, Rotate, and let's rotate it by minus 90 degrees. And we'll accept that. OK. I'm going to go ahead and start with a crop. Let's use the selector tool and I'm just going to select around my image that's going to be my logo and I'm going to say crop and enter. Okay, so here is my image. Now the goal here is to get the white to disappear and to keep the black of my image. All right, now we want to go ahead and remove this white portion of the image. So we're gonna go under the select pull down. And we're gonna select color range, and I'm gonna choose the color white to, to get rid of, okay? We'll say okay right there. And now all we have to do is hit delete on the keyboard. And that now leaves us with just our signature. Now I'll do a control D to deselect. So now it's just my signature here on a blank background. Okay, you can see it's there. Now all we have to do is go under File and do a Save As. 
and save it as a .png file, okay? That allows you to have the opacity of the image and a clear background. So let's give it a name. Let's call it new logo and save. It comes back with this menu and just go ahead and say OK. So now that we have our logo, what we need is an image to drop it on. I'm going to go ahead and save this in case I want to modify it later. So let's grab ourselves an image. Here's one right here. Let's open it up. And there we go. We've got the Lagoon Nebula that I took a while. So putting a logo on your image is super, super easy now that you've created your file. And you realize there really wasn't that many steps to create in the file. So go under New uh, File, Place Embedded, go find your new logo right there and place it. And there it is. But you see the problem here? I am trying to place a black logo on a black drawing so it is not going to show up. So let's go back and fix that real quick. I'm not going to accept this. Let's go back and open up that file that thankfully we saved. And let's see, open recent, and I think it was this one. So we have a black logo saved, which is perfect if we're putting it on a light background. But what if we want it to be white? So over here on your layer, let's do a control click. And this is going to put marching ants all around your logo. So all you need to do is get yourself a white pen, just white, and say OK. Turn it on the pen mode and just paint. And you notice because I selected just the black that I am painting just on my logo. And really you could do this with any color that you desire. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to make this paintbrush super big and just paint it. All right, so now we have a white version. So let's do a file, save as, create another PNG file for it. And why don't we call this the new white logo? And we can go back and call the other one the new black logo. So you have both of them available when you need them. Let's do save and save. And I'm going to go ahead and save this version also as a PSD file if I want to come back and change it again. Let's call it new white logo. And we're going to leave it as a PSD file and hit save. All right, now that's done. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Let's go back to that Lagoon Nebula and try this again. File, place embedded. Let's grab that new white logo, but you see it looks like a white sheet of paper until you hover over it. Click it, select place, and there you go. You have this fancy new logo. Now, if you want this logo smaller, just grab the grippers in the corner and make it any size that you want. And drag it around and place it anywhere on your image. I'm going to drop it down about right there and accept it. Okay? And right now, if you wanted, you could lower the opacity of it or leave it at 100%, whatever you want. And now it's just a matter of doing a file save and your logo is on your image. Just that easy. You can do this a million times over. You can change your logo anytime you want. Um, it's just as simple as a black Sharpie, a white piece of paper, and drawing your image. Now this is just for the basic black and white logo, okay? If you want something a little bit more complicated, well, we'll have to figure that one out for another video. All right, so I'm Amy Astro. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing below. Don't forget to hit that alert bell so you know when I upload new astro-related material. And don't forget to share this video with all of your astro friends. Now, we have an anniversary coming up, hopefully coming in May, if not sooner. Sooner really depends on you guys. But I have a giveaway coming up. Now, when I reach 5,000 subscribers, 
there's going to be something very special for you guys. So please subscribe now and in future videos I'm going to tell you guys just how to sign up for this future giveaway. Until next time guys, I love each and every one of you all. I'm wishing you guys great health, clear skies, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye y'all.